Hey guys, this is Justin at the Survivor Review. Today I have some Batman news to talk about. To start off, what makes this really interesting is that this has really been like a Batman-centered week for me somehow. Like, I went to the library and picked up a bunch of Batman comics. I went to the comic store picked up the latest issue of Detective Comics. I beat the story mode on Arkham Origins. And I got this shirt, Batman shirt, in the mail. So, that has surprisingly been a lot of Batman related stuff going on. And coincidentally, there's been two major news stories regarding Batman that have been released. And one of them is really good and awesome, and the other one is really bad. <laughs> so, let's get started with the positive one, because I'll definitely have more to say on the negative one. So, the positive news is. Warner Brothers has announced that in late 2014, they're going to release the complete series of the 1960s Batman show, starring Adam West and Burt Ward. And this gets me really excited because I love that show. It's one of my favorite TV shows. I know it's cheesy and a lot of people make fun of it, but I just enjoy the heck out of it. And to a lot of people's surprise, the show has not been released on DVD or on VHS or any format because the big copyright issues and a lot of problems like that. The um, the movie has been released on DVD, uh, so there's no, I guess, no real copyright problem with that. I never understood what the big copyright issue was, like why the show couldn't um, be released, but the movie can. Apparently it's like either music copyright or due to some, like, there's some appearances by characters from other shows in there and like little cameos. Yeah, apparently that was the reason why, but either way, I'm just glad that this show is finally getting a release. There hasn't been any real info other than it was just announced that it's going to happen. So I don't know if it's going to be like a DVD or Blu-ray. But apparently it's going to come out in a complete series set. I don't know about individual releases. The show only ran three seasons. So it's not the longest show. But you know. Just something I'm really looking forward to. Just because I'm so happy that it's finally out on DVD. Like I'm happy that there I've contemplated buying bootlegs a ton of times, but I've never done it just because I never really feel like spending the money on that, and happy I waited because finally got to get a release. I hope the release is like full of extras, because I remember a couple years ago I was trying to make a big ultimate like fan collection, trying to find all these like bonus features online, including like TV reunions, and like appearances of like Adam West in costume. Hopefully we get like audio commentaries and and this new stuff, that's what I really want to see. And I'm happy this show's just it's finally coming back. Last year they just started releasing merchandise for the show, which was great. They started releasing toys and uh, even a new comic book, which I did a video on actually, uh, re uh, reviewing the first issue. So I'm happy this show's finally coming back, and I feel like it's starting to get a little bit more respect for what it is. And finally happy that it's on. It's going to be on DVD in the fall, which is I'm so excited. I'm going to be there day one buying that for sure. I still say that news is like the best news to come out in 2014, even though it's only January. To me it is the most the best news of the year. And so now we move on to probably the worst news of the year. Batman vs. Superman, the Man of Steel sequel, has been delayed till 2016. Now, for those of you who have been watching my previous videos, I was I'm extremely hyped for that movie. Um, I really liked I really liked Man of Steel. I didn't love it, but I really liked the universe he created, and I was really excited to see another movie. Plus, with the addition of Batman, I mean, this was my most hyped movie of 2015, which is a huge year for movies. But that was always on top: Batman vs Superman. And it's just it's really disappointing that you have to wait another year. Now. My major issue with this is not really the f it's not completely the fact that I have to wait another year to see this movie. Yeah, that really stinks, but if they're gonna get another year and really put some more effort into it so it's like gonna be great, then yeah, do it. That's fine with me. My major problem is when it this comes to the whole DC cinematic universe. Now, the uh, Warner Brothers has obviously been trying to do what Marvel's been doing. Making a whole Marvel, a whole cinematic universe based off their characters, and the only problem is I feel that Warner Brothers is just too afraid to do what to do anything else besides Batman and Superman, and that's why we're getting Batman vs Superman, and then hopefully a Justice League movie right after that, and that's it. No real build up, and 
that kind of annoys me. And also because of the fact that with Batman vs. Superman pushed to 2016, there's a full two-year gap in the middle there in 2014-2015 where there's nothing DC-related coming out on the screen. And that's just, like, really stinks. It's really like you, you have an opportunity to at least do something with another character to at least start building this universe. And no, you're just gonna completely get rid of, ignore two years where you could have easily done something, just like put all your focus on Batman and Superman. And, I don't know, I'm not really good at explaining things, but hopefully you understand what I'm trying to get at. It just really stinks, and I really hope that this works out. I mean, I have heard a rumor that they were going to shoot Batman vs. Superman and Justice League back-to-back. -back. And I guess that would make sense, because the rumored release date for all this time has been Justice League is going to come out in 2017. But, and if that is true, then I guess that's good. But I still wish they would they would do more with their universe, with their characters. Like, it feels like DC is just like, uh, like, one of the videos, I didn't do a video on this, but they, they announced that Wonder Woman is going to be in Batman vs. Superman, which I have a whole ton of issues with, and it really feels like DC is just like, uh, we don't know if people are going to like Wonder Woman, so we'll, we'll throw her in Batman vs. Superman, because we know people are going to see that movie. And it's like, it's the complete opposite compared to Marvel, where they're just like, oh, Thor, huh? A god with the big hammer fights, like, frost giants. Well, it's, we have to do it, it's essential, make it a movie. And that's where I feel is, like, the flaw with um, um, DC and Warner Bros. That's what really annoys me on the pushback, is it just feels like they're rushing and they don't know what they're doing with this universe. They don't know what they're going to do. And I, I probably wouldn't worry as much if they would have announced, like, their plans. Like, oh, we have plans to do this, to do, like, you know, Batman vs. Superman this year, just this week, the year after that, and then maybe do a Flash movie after and a solo Wonder Woman movie. But it's, they haven't announced anything of that. So it's almost like they don't know what they're doing. That's what it really feels like. It feels like DC and Warner Brothers is just kind of doing whatever and hoping it'll turn great without any real plan. And that's, to me, that's what the 2016 pushback kind of annoys me with. Not just the fact that we have to wait another year to see Batman and Superman on the big screen together, which just... <clears throat> I'm really skeptical on this whole, like, universe and all what Warner Brothers and DC is doing, because I feel like it, it's, this could easily just fall flat on its face, unless done well. And when they had first announced Batman vs. Superman, I was like... Oh yeah, that that makes sense. That's a great way to reintroduce Batman into this new universe, especially after coming off like one of the most successful trilogies of all time. It makes sense. And then and then they announced at that time they come on they're gonna do like Flash in twenty sixteen and Justice League in twenty seventeen. And I'm like, oh, they got a plan. And then they're like, oh no, that Flash thing's not true. We're we're doing a TV show spinoff to Arrow. And I'm like, oh okay. And then they haven't said anything about Justice League. And then they cast a Wonder Woman in Batman vs. Superman, and I hear all these rumors of like, oh, you know, Green Lantern is going to be in Batman vs. Superman. I just, one of the things I, I do want, I kind of want, I want just some solid info. I don't mind having there being rumors and stuff, because that always happens with movies. But can't Warner Brothers really just sit down and say like, okay, Batman vs. Superman is going to be a movie about Batman, you know, going to Metropolis or something, and then like, oh, and then... You know, Wonder Woman's gonna have a really small role. At least explain to us what we're gonna get in Batman vs. Superman. Because it, all these rumors makes it sound like it's gonna be a Justice League movie. Like, eventually they'll just be like, oh wait, Batman vs. Superman? No, that's not true. That's actually Justice League. And so I really hope... I, and pushing it back to 2016 really makes it feel like I'm gonna have to wait longer to get that info. And that really annoys me. I was hoping that, like, sometime soon we were gonna get some sort of, like, official release saying, this is what Batman vs. Superman is. So you can put some, at least some of these rumors to rest. And that's another thing that kind of brings back to my point that DC doesn't feel like they completely know what they're doing, or Warner Brothers doesn't completely know what they're doing with this, right, this universe. And that's my biggest worry on this. <sighs> that kind of turned into a rant right there. <laughs> Sorry about that. But that's just kind of my thoughts on them pushing that back and my thoughts on what Warner Brothers and DC is doing with their movies, which so far isn't, or, or, uh, isn't going too well. So, one thing I like to bring up is that 
I, I'm saying that Warner Brothers and DC isn't um, doesn't want to take these chances. Some people may say they're like, oh, well, that's because they did with Green Lantern, and that was terrible. And I see where people are getting that, but I feel like that's kind of their faults. They have a, they made a bad movie, but not only that though, it came out at a time when it was just a random comic book movie. Nothing was tying into anything, and it just didn't work. If they released Green Lantern like next year with a much better like director attached to a much better like script and cast and so like, oh this is part of that DC universe, this is connected to Man of Steel. It would have more uh, more of an audience and more of more people wanting to see it and I feel like it would do better than it did if it came on then. So I don't really think that that's a valid reason for them to be worried, Green Lantern. I don't think that is at all, just because it just that's a totally separate thing. So that's kind of my opinion on that. Also, the release date is May 6, 2016, which is also the release date of a Marvel movie that's coming out that same day. So, don't be surprised if they eventually change that release date for May 6 to like something else. Just saying. And so, yeah, that's kind of a little Batman news update. Batman vs. Superman being the biggest one. Um, the 60s Batman show finally getting a DVD release, which is awesome and something I'm really excited for. So, so far... 2014, which is actually the 75th anniversary of Batman, with with the National TV show started out pretty good. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get some more good Batman stuff in this year because this is, like I said, the 75th anniversary, and hopefully we'll get some cool Batman stuff. And yeah, that's basically it. That's my Batman news update video. And yeah, whew, I'm tired, so I'll talk to you guys later.